Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be all about 2023 goals, manifestation, just anything that you want to do in 2023. To get myself ready for this video, I wanted to be in a really good mood. So as you guys saw, I went to Starbucks and got myself a coffee. This is my coffee. <laughs> I also got myself a cake pop because I was craving chocolate really bad. So yeah, just if you guys are going to do this, if you're going to sit down, write down your goals or whatever it is, how you're going to do it, make it a day. Go get yourself a coffee, a smoothie, whatever it is that you like to do, and then sit down and then really get to your goals and what you want to accomplish. Okay, guys, I won't take up too much time, so let's get right into it. Okay, first, I just want to say that whether you're doing your goals on a big board with photos or you're writing them down in your journal, whatever it is that you wanna do your goals, however it is you wanna do it, stick to that, stick to what's gonna work for you. You know, there's a lot of videos out there that are like, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta write them down, you gotta write your reflection, like, no girl. Do what's gonna work for you. So in this video, you're gonna see, I'm going to use Pinterest for my 2023 goals and vision board. I'm on that app every day, so I feel like for me, it's gonna help the most um, because last year I actually wrote them in my planner and I kid you not I did not look at my planner last year you guys I was really bad at it but just to show you the first page I did like write my goals on there some of them I did accomplish some of them I didn't and that's okay I'm like not gonna be hard on myself you shouldn't be hard on yourself we're all doing the best that we can living day for day so anything that you were able to cross off I think it's an accomplishment in itself. So like I said, I'm using Pinterest this year for my vision board. I use the app every day. So it's very easy for me to just get into the app really quick. Just click onto the board and see like, hey, like, you know, I haven't looked at my vision board in a few days. Like what, what is it looking like? And kind of cross things out that way. Cause I feel like even, you know, two months out, if like I'm trying to look at the board again, I could like easily bring it up and be like, hey, like what can I maybe do this weekend that might like help towards my goals, right? Help towards crossing something off. That's why I chose Pinterest because for me, it's easy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys, this is my vision board. I just named it 2023 vision board. If you wanted to reorganize your pins, you can literally just press that button, organize, and then you'll just grab it from the little like um, lines and just move it around wherever you need to move it and place it. So just in case if you guys didn't know that, cause you can do that and kind of like group them together. You know, I kind of grouped my hair pictures together, my quotes here and there, I wanted scattered. So that's how you do that. You can also write notes in here, you guys. So if you click notes, you'll see here, I have a note that says 2023 goals, press on it. Then you can see I broke it down from personal to career goals. And you can literally do all you want with this, like goals part two. I'm just, just so you guys can see. Do you see 2023 goals, goals part two? So you can put whatever it is that you guys wanna put in here, which I think is really cool. And I didn't know about that feature. Again, this is why this works really great for me because I can just literally jump on here and see all of it. And it's on my phone, handy, ready to go. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm in the Pinterest app. Right now I'm gonna go to my 2023 vision board and it's really self-explanatory, you guys. I didn't do too much with my vision board this year. And also, if I'm being honest with you guys, the biggest word that pops up for me for 2023 is expensive. And I know that sounds so weird, but it's because I wanna do a lot more in 2023. I think maybe two years ago, I was out of a job for maybe like half of a year. So I felt like the past two years, I've been catching up on my savings, I don't really do too much spending or anything like that. And I feel like 2023 is where I wanna do that. Just looking at my board here, you can see the first few pictures are pictures of girls all dressed up, looking cute. Cause that is something huge for me. Like I love doing my makeup. I love getting dressed. It makes me feel amazing. So I wanna do more of that in 2023. The top quote that you see is, be the reason someone feels welcomed, seen, heard, valued, loved, and support. It's just like giving compliments, right? Like recognizing other people. I think that's really huge, especially in these times right now. I feel like a lot of people can use love wherever you can spread it. So I just wanna continue doing that. I, I try to, anytime we're at stores or like, eating you know i try to tell someone like hey i love your nails they look so cute where'd you get them done or like girl your eyebrows are popping you know like just that little comment you'd be surprised what it could do for someone like if they were having such a bad day you might have just turned that around for them so i want to practice more of that going forward i have a 
little quote here that says stop thinking just do it and that goes for a lot of things in my life i mean especially youtube you guys like my mind is the one thing that stops me and then maybe it could be the thing that stops you too but i am an over thinker like i overthink every little situation you guys it's crazy so when it comes to youtube there's probably like five or six videos that i literally filmed edited everything ready to go up and i scratched them because i thought too much about it you know i was like what are people gonna think because i think like my background doesn't look cute or I'm like the lighting is kind of like eh you know it's just like you just gotta do it like stop thinking about it just do it and then could be consistent after that you know okay and then i have like my nails because i want to get my nails done more often like i used to be so good about it and i know it's like again it's a money thing this is why i keep saying this year is gonna be a little expensive but it's a self-care thing i want to get my nails done i want to get my toes done i want to get that done monthly if i can if it's in my budget to do so at least getting like my pedicure monthly for sure i can do that and then you see on here i have coffee i have um like a little picnic thing basically like what this signifies to me is that i want to do more like coffee dates more like fun little things with either my friends or my siblings i have a lot of siblings i am I'm the oldest of six if that makes sense like i have six siblings so i just want to spend more time with them more individual time as well if i can um, and also my friends because my friends mean a lot to me so that's just what those photos signify to me is that hey go on coffee dates go try out a new coffee shop or go on a picnic go to the beach go do something with your friends or your siblings like someone other than my man because i do so much with my man which is not a problem but you know it's really good to go out there have your own quality time okay and then you'll see i have books which are more like more like storytelling books you know i want to get more into those because i usually just read like poetry books disneyland castle i am an annual pass holder so i want to remind myself to use it as much as possible possible and literally go as much as I can even if I'm only getting a coffee walking around just like that's what I want to plan more of just like simple Disney dates like it doesn't have to be a whole day thing or I don't have to get on like every damn ride you know and then you'll see I have pictures of girls with their hair did my hair color has been black for a while and I really want to do something different with it this year so that's kind of what I'm thinking it's not anything too dramatic but it's like just little strips of blonde maybe going through it but I definitely want to switch up my hair this year like that is a for sure and you guys see flowers on here i want to be better about buying myself flowers okay i always ask my mom for flowers and to get them for me every now and then which is not a problem but why can't i buy myself flowers you know what i'm saying like i want to be surrounded by flowers more often this year then you see like a laptop with the camera which is just youtube editing everything staying trying to stay consistent i have a picture of a couple i do have a boyfriend and it's just trying to remind myself like hey go on dates or go do something different you know so you know just reminding yourself to always put more effort into your relationship as the years go on um and then i have uh piercings i really really want to get like another piercing you guys oh you can't even see but like i have one piercing right i want to get another one and i've been wanting to for like the longest time so i'm hoping this is the year that i stop being a chicken and i go get it done if you guys have gotten like another piercing let me know like did it hurt did it not like you know am i freaking out a little too much or something do they numb your ear like i want to know you know but let me know if you have because i'm very curious to get that done and then um okay this is really funny because i have a louis vuitton purse on here which is super super very like superficial i know that you guys but um i really want one like i've wanted one for years now so i kind of put it there as like a manifestation thing like maybe this is gonna be the gear that i'm gonna get one you know but yeah some confirmation came this weekend about this type of purse so we will see and then last but not least is this quote i found it last october and it's just stuck to me ever since you guys it just says if you are not working on it evenings and weekends you don't want it as bad as you say you do so basically again i i really am trying to put so much emphasis on youtube because it's something i like to do and it's something i see myself doing for a long time but i feel like i was putting in a lot of excuses i was just like hey i don't have time i'm tired you know i work i come home i have to clean up to cook i have to yada yada you know no stop with the excuses we can make time even if it's an hour or two hours every day to sit down do a little bit of editing do whatever it is that i need to do i can find the time right and this is what the quote is saying like you if you really want it you're gonna do what you got to do to get there i love that quote i found it last year and it's just stuck to me and it's just like my biggest thing right now is like i'm just trying to really do everything i can to get to where i want to be okay hopefully my video didn't come out too long you guys i feel like i was a little all over the place so i i apologize but i just want to say i hope that it's a great year for you guys i hope it's a great year for everyone and again making your goals for 2023 do not feel discouraged if in come 2024 you do not accomplish all of them whatever the case is life is hard life throws so many changes and curves at you that just living day for day is an accomplishment in itself okay just make sure to not forget to live in the moment spend as much time with your family and friends anyone that you love and cherish and care for that's what's most important 
Okay guys, I hope my video was helpful if you guys are looking into doing your goals on Pinterest. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate your time. Have a good day or night wherever you are. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.